Hello everybody, my name is Katemar. Welcome back for another video of Civ 6. Uh, the We're going to continue our Let's Play Boys with the um, Pirates. Uh, we did... We didn't do too much in the last episode. It's really... I think it's going to be the same in this one. The first episodes are always like slow to begin with. Uh, always slow. You always got to wait things out to see how it's going to go. We've got the Principe... Um, well, Principe Island normally, but this is just Principe for now. Okrake Inlet as well, so this is your, our capital. We're just gonna... There we go, do next turn already. So, we have a builder, he's gonna go to the iron resource right here. We have nothing else going on. I do need a builder in order to get these two resources over there on, the on Principe. ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also, the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. Okay, so we've got the Oracle boys done in a crack inlet, which is going to give us a lot of good bonuses. Let's just go over there, I guess, over to the mines. Oh, it's all... We can't actually get that. I guess we don't have the stuff in order to... I just... Uh, we don't... We didn't uh, have the stuff over science to do that okay so that's right production now since we finished the wonders we don't have any more wonders to do um we kind of need a new builder but the builders i forgot we need to s any builder that we get we need to get them over principe boys because they got the bonuses where if you build them over that city they've got four bills instead of three so that's pretty good I can build heavy chariots, spearmen, archers, and whatnot. Uh, battering rams as well, but I don't want to focus too much on that for now. Really, I want to focus on my fleets and whatnot. Which, speaking of fleet, I, I still don't know how to use my fleet, boys. You guys are going to have to let me know uh, about that. Um, we don't have anything else since the France already, already has a territory right here. I'm thinking maybe going over there for our next city, like going a straight line, maybe. But for now, we're just going to focus on what's better for us. I think what's better for us is the... Well, we can do shrine in three turns only, but I'm going to go for the commercial lab, boys. Commercial lab, six turns only. We really need that money. It's going to be really important to have all as much money as possible. So commercial lab over here, we need to send a new envoy. Uh, we still have uh, Buenos Aires as our suzerain. We've got one envoy. We're going to send him over there since uh, that's pretty good. There we go. So Toronto, I think that's Toronto. Yes, Toronto is our suzerain as well. That's a really good boys. We've got two suzerains. We're making a lot of production per turn now. That's pretty good. All we just finished Celestial, Celestial Navigation, which is pretty good. Of every passing ship. It's really good, boys, because we got pirates safe haven now. I think we got a... Yeah, it replaces arbor. So instead of having an arbor, we've got that. Um, it gives us plus two great emerald points, a lot of gold and culture. Really good. That, that's really good for us. Let's go ahead and do our next research. I think what we're going to do for our next research... We can either go for iron working... Engineering or horseback, boys. I'm thinking going for, I guess, iron working. Yeah, iron working will be better just for our units to be like better units overall. We don't even have a warrior unit right now. That's right. Actually, we do. We do have a warrior unit. It's right here. Yeah, we could upgrade him into a, a, a sword unit or whatnot. So, yes pretty good we're doing great right now we don't have anything else I'm doing right now is it let me check that out we already have that I think we already have all the resources we can have so let me just send him back we're gonna actually use that builder how many builds he's got two builds so we're gonna use him in order to get these two uh, these two regions done these two resources get uh, done I'm gonna look really quick if I cannot have some money out of these uh, friends right here. I can't really get any money. No. No, okay. I can't get any money out of him. What about Lotero? 
No, I because I'm normally I would trade money in or in exchange for like open borders and whatnot. That's what I'm trying to do right now. We're trying to see if I cannot do something like that. No. Okay, I can't do any trades. And I don't know why, like, all of a sudden, Rome doesn't like me, boys. I don't know what did I do in order to, like, get their ang uh, get them angry against me. I don't know. Okay, we just um, encountered the United States. Pretty good, boys. Where are they? have uh, no idea. I think they're right there. Yeah, they're all the way over there. We don't have to worry too much about these guys, boys. I don't know how much uh, more turns we have for the next era. But I can tell you guys that we're going to be in the golden era for sure the next one. 15 turns, uh, I think. But we got... Like, we only missed three, missing 3 points. So that's really good. Let's go ahead and produ produce that mining place. Okay, we're just going to keep that soldier in here. We've got 200, almost already 111 like faith and 218 gold. We're getting a lot of gold, boys. We're doing great right now. Uh, let me see what I can build. Quickly purchase. Okay, so nothing. I can't go for a trader. I already have maximum traders. Maybe a builder. I'm not entirely sure, boys. Just say, I guess we're just going to save our money because we really don't have too much going on right now too much that we can actually do with our units i'm thinking about getting to war against france but for that in order to do that i would have to i would have to have actually more units than just one warrior you know just finished games and recreation boys which means we can get to the coliseum entertainment complex and whatnot we can get all these great things um now I'm going to build this farm right here since I can't really do anything else. So I'm just going to build this farm. I can't do anything else with the builder right now. There's not, no resources that are interesting or what, or whatever. So I've, I know what I'm going to do with my money, boys. Uh, once I have enough money, I'm going to quickly purchase a settler. We're going to settle another city, of course. Uh, now we've got all these choices right here. Either military training, defensive tactics... Uh, recorded history. We've got theology. Um, let me see what we can do. I guess for points in science. Maybe this. Defensive tactics. What would it give us? Bonuses in this. Bastion. Defense. City strength. Declare. A reconquest war. Protective war. You know what? Let's go with that. Because can declare wars like eas more easily like that and since we're pirates we need to be at war with people you know that's wh who we are we need to un uncover new stuff basically so we need to start doing stuff boys um let me see no that's not what i wanted to do quickly purchase okay so a settler is 440 gold boy uh, gold boys I could quickly purchase the the shrine, but I'm not gonna do that. I think it would be a waste, a waste of money. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save my money for the the actual settler. So we just encountered a new, like a little bit of a new island right here. We don't know. We, there might be people in there, but we don't know who who exactly it is. We do know that there's tribal people right there. Um, in two turns, we've got the ancient walls over a Principe. One turn for the iron working for uh, in order to build some uh, swordsmen. We need a uh, new production, boys. Now either we go for the market or the shrine. Market would give us more gold. I think we're gonna go for the shrine this time around, though, because we really need to start building up our faith and having a, a religion or whatnot would be really good for us in the long term, boys. Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral. Think of it as a building block. We've got a new natural wonder, boys. A great barrier reef. Very interesting. Which is all the way over there. So that's its own little island right here. Which we could have a city right here. Could be protected very well by our ships and whatnot. And by this natural wonder. Very well protected. And we are officially going to be in a golden age on the next turn. Uh, well, next time around, boys. That's really good for us let me just do next turn because actually um didn't do anything right here okay we've got iron working so 
I think we can upgrade, yeah, we can upgrade our warrior unit into a swordsman, which we are gonna do. There we go. Already upgraded. It's a swordsman now. Really good. So 42 out of 40. We're gonna be in the golden age for sure. Uh, ne uh, the next era. I don't know how much turns we got left for the next era, boys, but whatever. We can go for engineering or horseback. We're gonna go for engineering since it's already... Well, actually, horseman, stable, post production, aqueduct. No, engineering's better, boys. Engineering's better for us. We got a, uh, a great person, a great prophet that we can have. Our nice. Um, we are gonna go ahead and send him over here, boys, and found a religion. We're gonna, we're gonna have our first religion, boys. Nice. Let's do this. All right, choose the religion. We are gonna be. Just like the real thing, just like the real pirates, if the it's not already taken, oh the, it's already been taken. The pro Protestantism. Oh shit! Protestantism has already been taken, boys. So. Catholicism. Yeah, we're gonna be Catholicism, boys. I guess. Uh, we needed like the pirates work uh, Protestants, but I guess we're gonna be. Catholicism is a catalyst instead. Uh, Zen medita meditation. One, plus one amenities in cities with two special districts would be really good. Religious uh, shrine and temples. It provides plus one awesome relics. Okay, plus one production for each citizens following this religion in the city. Prostron production. I'll take that, boys. That's really good for the cities. Um, plus two gold for each city following this religion. Plus two gold, huh? I'll take that as well. Plus production, plus gold, boys. We need that. That's really great for us. We just got a Eureka moment as well. Really nice. Okay. All this is good. All this is good and done. We're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of bonuses for our, uh, our stuff and whatnot. So this uh, right here, he's following the stuff. So he's gaining more gold and he's gaining more... Uh, Production in the next turn is, is going to be effective. We need to start having some uh, priest going over their missionary, going over principi, and uh, making them into our own religion, giving them their our religion. Okay, so it's done. We've got the walls finally over principi. Let me see what we can build next. Pirate safe haven. Absolutely, that's the next thing we're going to do for sure. Um, pirate safe even so it's gonna give us a lot of good stuff boys let's give uh, let's get them over there or actually no let's get them over there it's plus three gold it's plus three gold let's get them over there that's gonna be really profitable in nine turns it's gonna be done we've got 299 gold let me see what I can build can I build no we can't build just yet uh, the uh, the um, what you call it? We can't build. We can't build just yet the the missionaries because we don't have the shrine. We got. We're gonna have it in the next turn. Rome is once again really mad about me, boys. Really mad at me for some reason. I don't know why they're so mad at me. Like they're so, they're mad because I'm not like an expansion right now. I'm not uh, gaining some expansion or whatnot. And basically that's what they said. They just said I'm leaving these territories to other enemies. Like France and whatnot. I'm fine here, over here. I'm gonna go over there. Nobody's over there. So I'm gonna. All these resources, fish resources and whatnot, and well resources, I can get them if I go settle over there. And that's what I plan to do. Um, next thing we gotta do, because right now the builder, yeah, we're almost there for the builder, I guess, for the money and whatnot. It's 440. That's a lot, though. It really is a lot. It would give me five turns to to get that. I don't know, boys. We're going to go for the market. We're going to go for the market. I think it would be way more important for us to go for the market. I think we're good right now. I think we're good. It's continuing to explore. That would be really a great island to settle on. We're well protected and everything. I think it would be a really great place to settle on, boys, as well. But settle, we're going to settle over here first. Just to be sure. Just met a new city state, boys. It's Babylon. Babylon is a thing now. So 
Let's just see what, it, what it's all about. Uh, what do they want me to do? Convert the city-state into our religion. They actually want us to uh, want the, uh, our, themselves to be converted to our religion, but before doing that, I need to convert my own. So let's go send my missionary, my first one, over to Principe. Convert them. We're almost there for the uh, the whole thing, boys. So I'm trading with uh, Roosevelt right now. I actually am done with doing the the stuff, so I need to start trading again with everybody there we go and i need to start trading again make a deal no i can't do any deals with him what about you friends want open borders there we go whoa whoa, whoa. what you what would you give me come on now you're not giving me shit. that's not how it works you need to give me something okay never mind you know you're being an asshole right now okay uh, what about you? Do you want uh, open borders? What the fuck is this? Why do they want me to give them stuff? I'm not gonna give them money freely like that. What is this? Alright, well, never mind, boys. I'm tr actually just trading right now with um, both America and uh, Chandogutapa, whatever it's called, uh, uh, India. Alright, this. Religion has just been spread over Principe, so Principe has the religion, boys. It's gonna have the bonuses and whatnot as well. Really good, really good for us. Next turn, we're gonna be able to finally have our settler. Um, really interesting. Buddhism, all right, so Francis has Buddhism on their side. Really weird and interesting at the same time, boys. I think the first, like, we're gonna go after the city-states and whatnot, the first uh, one we're gonna go after is Geneva and now Geneva is suzerain of India so India is over there no it's too far away I would rather take on the French which uh, since they're closer to me boys I need to start building up units as well I need to start building up my units we're gonna be pre preparing ourselves for our first war boys against the French so we can add a new trader boys to um, to another uh, trade route I guess we're gonna do that in a minute we just need to su choose a new production right now uh, a trader is actually three turns so why not search for it I guess no before doing that we need the pirate safe haven which is only two turns and we are gonna get uh, get it over there yeah, we're gonna make some sacrifices. We're gonna have to wait even more. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait more for the um, the settler, I guess. But we're gaining a lot of gold now. We need all these pirate safe havens, boys. It's gonna be really important to have those. It gives us a lot of great bonuses and whatnot. Okay, so I'm sending right now my missionary, boys. I'm sending him to um, all these territories. I'm sending them actually to Babylon since they want me to get uh, to convert them. Uh, I did uncover a new continent which is right here. So, very interesting boys. We've got a new continent and whatnot. And uh, that should be very interesting. We, we're gaining 30, 30, uh, 30 gold per turn. Which is really good for us. I mean, we're gaining... We're, we're, we're gonna get a lot of gold in two turns and whatnot. Uh, like it's only a one turn left for a pirate safe haven over here and two turns left for this uh, over there. Genghis Khan, huh? So we just uncovered Mon Mongolia as well. Really good stuff, boys. We're uncovering a lot of stuff in this episode, boys. A lot of stuff. Exchange of information. There we go. Now, Mongolia is on the new continent. So the other continent. So they're well protected from uh, anybody else. Part 40 ticks, uh, 46 out of 40, so really we're doing magic. great. Oh, engineering's done. Alright, we can do aqueducts and whatnot. We've got a Eureka moment for that. Fire safe haven was no accident. There we go. We got the pirate safe haven, boys. Really good. Uh, you, I'm going to continue to send you over uh, Babylon. Next turn, boys, we're going to have the pirate safe haven over Principe as well. We need a new research. Uh, we've got uh, a choice between all these three. Horse ride, like horse riding, I'm not really interesting in that. 
mathematics or shipbuilding, I really want that instead. But you no, know, if I build two galleys, I could upgrade this. So you know what? I'm gonna do that really quick. Uh, build a pasture. Uh, build three different uh, special district. You know what? Let's do mathematics instead. I, I guess then. It just upgraded for some reason. I don't know how, why it did that. We need to do production over a Kraken Inlet. We could go for this uh, lighthouse or the aqueduct, boys. What does it need more? Well, I was think it's pretty good, actually. We could go for the uh, trader, I guess. I guess we could go for the trader, boys. But I kind of want to get go for the galley as well. Well, it's two turns and you know what? Where is it gonna go? Nowhere. We need to produce these galleys over places like this where they're actually gonna be like doing something. Let me just quickly purchase. No, I really wanna make sure to have my settler first before doing that, okay. You know what? Let's just focus on what's best for us. Go for the lighthouse, I guess. Let's not uh, focus too much on the trader. No. Nah. No, lighthouse. Lighthouse and aqueduct. So, aqueduct. Let's see if we can build it anywhere. So, it doesn't look like we can build the aqueduct just yet. Let's just do the lighthouse for now. Five turns should be fine. Alright. They are willing to give us some gold per turn in exchange for the open borders. Finally, making some trades with them. Nice. They're being reasonable, reasonable boys. Pretty much a friend with everybody at this point. We've got defensive tactics done. Boosted that. Alright. Uh, we can get three trade routes now. Nice. Okay, so I am pretty much a friend with everyone. Except for like Rome that really dislikes me. And the French that doesn't really like me that much. But not. it's not the end of the world. We need to choose a new civic. Between... Uh, any of these so theology is the one that takes less time I'm gonna go for theology I guess boys at this point uh, we do need a new uh, production over Principe since this has been done the pirate safe haven is done boys basically the pirate safe haven protects our territory it's just like an encampment it's really good and it gives us money as well it's the best thing ever so you know what let's go for the one that takes less time I guess or no, they're like they're telling me to go for commercial lab or lighthouse. I'm gonna go for commercial lab. More, the more money, the better, boys. The more money, the better. Let's just uh, do this one over there. There we go. Uh, you, you right here. We're gonna continue to send you over to Babylon. There we go. Almost there for the next turn, boys. We're gonna be able to finally have our settler. Actually, a government. We need have new stuff, so right now we have plus one production towards ancient and classical naval units. Uh, we could do instead plus six cities def defense strength versus uh, and plus 50 cities range strength, which would be really good. Um, production towards defensive building. I'm kind of tempted to do that instead. There we go. I'm tempted to do that. The bastion thing. Would be really good for us. We got a new governor title. Since we've got only two cities right now. We're going to just promote one of them. Which uh, build charge. That's the envoys. The envoys is all uh, is on the capital. And this one. Uh, okay so this is going to be plus to production towards the government plaza. Other cities nine tail. Uh, within nine tails. And not owned by you. Gain two loyalty per turn towards your civilization. No, I'm I prefer this one. So promote this one, boys. Promote this uh this one. Infrastructure towards city center or the fisher unit. More food basically or more production. Production, always the production, boys. Really good. Okay, now we're done with all this. I think I'm gonna just continue the transition until there's not anything else that happens really. Theology's done, boys. So um, temples and Mahabadi temple. 
Basically, theology is all about the faith stuff. So we can upgrade our faith stuff, basically. And, okay, so we got this right here. We are gonna settle right here, since it's it's got all these resources around. So let's settle right here, found the city. Here's our third city, boys. Citizens of Nassau have 100 wars of, for snow. So there we go, Nassau, well in snow right here. Now it's gonna be hard to do anything right here because we're in the middle of the snow and re really quick and winter. Like it's, it's gonna be really cold for Nassau boys. To the country and the country are the real thing, but I feel we're gonna have a lots of fun. We got three cities now. It's gonna be really fun to try and produce stuff. We're gonna have to help Nassau grow a little bit more than the two other cities. Uh, military training or recorded history. Let's go for. Well, this is gonna give us. Okay, more stuff. Great library. Let's go for uh, recorded history. It's better, boys. It's much better thing. We've got a great merchant. Which uh, we have to do uh, to get. So, Eureka moment. Let me just see really quick. Okay, so before we do that, we've got the great merchant right here. Great merchant can do what exactly? Gain 60 gold, your nearest city annexes this tile into this its territory. Oh, so he can annex any tile and give it to us. Well, in that case... What territory do, do we not have over here? I'm gonna send him over there. Oh, I can't do that. I'm, I'm gonna send him over there, I guess. Yeah, let's send them over there, boys. We're gonna need them, uh, need them to give us this territory right here uh, of copper, this uh, copper resource for Nassau right there. We need new productions for both Nassau, of course, and we're cracking in it. Now we're gonna go for the temple, I guess. Uh, actually. Well, before we do anything else, this just expired right there for some reason. Holy Site Agency bonuses? Not really. Uh, plus one housing in all cities with at least two special districts? No. Plus one production in all cities. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that, boys. And, um... Okay, so what we want to do next, I we could get, like, another trader. Would be really good, boys, another trader, so... Three turns only. The temple's not really that interesting to me. I don't think I don't know what we could possibly be with the temple. So let's go for the trader. Three turns only. Uh, over here now we need to start somewhere. Let's go with the. Let's go with the granary stuff, I guess. And uh, we've got one more point. Let's see who would be. Who would be uh, the best option right here? I'm thinking Buenos Aires is already ours. I'm thinking Hong Kong maybe or Babylon. No. Carthage would give us production. Let's let's get that. Let's get that. It's gonna give us a lot of production. Okay. We're doing pretty great, boys. I'm still working on getting back my galley over to the right territories and whatnot. Over here to protect us eventually. Once my galley is back, we're gonna be uh, able to go after war against the the French boys. That's the first ones we're gonna go after war with. Is the French for sure? Let's just send back my warrior, my swordsman unit. I'm gonna send him back to a crack in it uh, because uh, Nassau is not in danger. He's uh, the city close, the so closest city is Geneva, so we don't have to worry too much. Okay. They denounced us. France denounced us. You are the most feel and I can't bear to finish. Go away. You have a, a different government and they don't like it. That means they're going to declare war to me. Uh, when uh, you when the AI starts like denounce, uh, denouncing you, eventually they're going to declare war to you. We've got our trader, which is actually done producing. We need to send him somewhere else. We can start sending him to Nassau. And Principe Island. We're gonna send them to uh, Principe Island, boys. Uh, to Nassau instead. Just to get the road going. Uh, we do need to send this guy over. No, not you. Fuck. That's not who I wanted to send. I want you s to send you over there. There we go. Give us this territory. 
Okay, one turn. In one turn, we're gonna be able to have our trader, boys. Really good for us. A, a second trader and whatnot. 240 gold. Let me just. We're gonna wait. Things out. It's 265 gold for another trader as well. We're gonna do a trade route like this. Like one guy goes over there. Well, this one's already going over there. This one's gonna go over here. And the one that I'm going to quickly purchase is going to go over to Geneva, boys. I need to, need to, uh, to choose a new research now that we got a trader. Let's just send him to Principe uh, just really quick. All right, let's send, let's choose. Okay, before we do anything, boom, just annex that, that. We're going to need a new builder for sure. Oh, we can annex another stuff, other stuff as well. But we can't go over there. We can't do that, so... What I'm gonna have to do, I guess, I'm gonna have to send back. Well, I can't do anything right now. I'm gonna have to send back uh, my great merchant over to um, Okraki Inlet or Principe Island. I think it's gonna be Principe Island because I want the other Mercury stuff. Mercury is really good for us. Um, yeah, let's continue to send back our swordsman over there. Oh, right, a new production over Okraki Inlet, boys. Um. I guess we could continue to go for that. I don't want to go to the galley because our harbor is over there. So it's going to produce over there. There's no need to have a galley. We need the galley over here. So galley, main production line for galley is going to be Principe. Uh, I guess we could go for the archer. Only three turns. Temple, really, I really don't care about the temple. So you know what? That will give us gold and everything. All this great stuff. Pirate festival. Give us a lot of stuff, but no, let's give uh, let's start getting the uh, the archers and whatnot. Let's start getting the archers, boys. I want to quickly, no, you know what? Let's go for the trader. We're gonna actually produce a trader because I want to quickly purchase the builder right here. So I want to quickly purchase the builder. There we go, and we're gonna use that builder in order to get these two resources done already to help out even more our territory we got mathematics boys uh we do have this missionary right here he's really close to babylon i think next turn we're going to be able to start uh spreading our religion over there all right so new city state which is yerevan what do they want us to do inspiration for military uh training civic yeah i don't know if i can actually do anything about that uh, we need to choose a new research. We got uh, in between shipbuilding or horse riding. We're going to go shipbuilding. No, actually, we're going to go horse riding because I know I can get the two galleys. That's what I, I'm trying to get right now. Uh, we got a, a great person, actually. Another one, which is the great admiral. Really oh, good. We got this boosted and everything. Really nice. So great admiral. Uh, before we do anything else let, let's start having our production do, done and whatnot so we're gonna have two stuff of production right here our great admiral is over here i want to give him i want to give him to our galley that's already in production oh my god this guy's stuck over there he needs to go into a, a, another line Oh shit, hang on. We need to transfer him to another city. Can we not do that? That's not good. We can't transfer him into another city, boys. That. Oh my god, he's stuck over here. Our great admiral stuck over here, boys. He's... He can't do anything. Yeah, he can't do anything. He... We can't transfer him. Uh, transfer him. Well, he's going to be stuck in the arbor, boys. Um, Let's just delete him. We're going to have to delete him, unfortunately, boys, because... He couldn't do anything. He's not like we can't send in anywhere. Let's just uh, continue to send our great merchant over here. Well, how is it going for our galley right here? God damn, it's taking a sweet ass time, boys. It's still gonna take six turns for him to go uh, to get there to get into our territory, which is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. Well, two turns for our trader, our s a third trader to get done. We're really taking our time. Taking our time at the maximum. 
Okay, boys. So I'm gonna tell you really quick what just um, happened. So emergency declared. Oh, an emergency war, boys. World war, maybe, possibly. Okay, so we've got two stuff. All right, we got three stuff overall. I just I used my merchant to get this territory and this territory as well. And now we're gonna go for the fishing resource first. We're gonna get that. Afterwards, we're gonna get the mercury resource and uh, the rice resource. Um, Nasto's growing pretty fast, but I do need like uh, actually got a Shinto, which I don't like. That's not the right religion. Uh, so they that's Rome that just uh, get, uh, get, uh, got that from us. That's not good at all. And actually, I need to. Um, I don't know what my galley is doing all the way over there, boys. It's kind of frustrating. They're kind of all over the place. I I, I did um, make Babylon our, into our own stuff. Put them into our own uh, religion. Convert them to our religion. It's already done. Or oh, whatever, man. I don't get them. Oh, they're Protestants. Oh... I always forget. Yeah, they're all Protestants. Okay, so we're gonna have to send them back, I guess. Okay, let's see what this is all about right here because there's a some sort of emergency war, or whatnot, going on. What's this all about? Oh, I can't. I can't be a part of it. Looks like I can't be a part of it, boys, since I don't know who the the two uh, unmet players are, the two civilization are. We need a new production over to a crack in it since I did the temple, boys. I just did it. Uh, we can get the Mohabadi temple, which be kind of special for us. But I need. I think we need to start. Well, you know what? Yeah, I don't know how much. It's right there. It's in the forest. Nobody's really using this. Yeah, I guess we can do that. I kind of want to start like doing our military stuff because we need military right now. Need to focus on our military, but I guess, I guess we can still wait a little bit. Twelve turns. Uh, we're gonna get this one over here. There we go. We're gonna get another wonder because wonders are really important, boys. Really important in this game. They really do. Uh, they really do a lot for your territory. Okay. You cannot go over there. So. I don't know how you got all the way over there. You're going to have to go all the way. Okay. This is getting annoying, boys. How the hell am I supposed to? Okay. I need to get the galley. To quickly purchase the galley. Which is going to be 260 gold. That's a lot, boys. That is a lot. Okay, we just finished horseback riding. This is the last turn, boys, before ending the video. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna spread our religion again. There we go. They are officially into our re religion now. That's good. We need more housing over Nassau. Uh, we really need... Uh, yeah, we really need help over Nassau. It's gonna have problems, of course. We need to choose a new research. We can go for e uh, either the apprenticeship... Uh, the construction or the shipbuilding. We're gonna go for the shipbuilding, I guess. Um, I do need the two galleys, though. Yeah, let's do the shipbuild. No, apprenticeship. No, the shipbuilding. We don't need. We have no choice right now, really. Um, I do want to go for Carthage since it's gonna give us even more production. There we go. Carthage is officially our suzerain, boys. Actually, in six turns, the the era is gonna be finished, boys. So it's gonna be a new era in six turns. Let's send him over there, or build over there. Next turn, he's gonna be able to build uh, the mine f uh, thing. God damn it! How do I get over there? Ah, there we go. Do I get from here? No. I'm gonna have to delete you. I'm gonna have to delete that unit, boys, and rebuild it. Because right now, um, it's giving me problems for no reason. Uh, so Principal Islands are having tough time because of the housing. So it's having tough time for uh, really doing anything. Uh, our crack inlet is doing okay. Yeah, it's doing great. And uh, Nassau is not growing at all because of the housing as well. We really need to start doing things, uh, boys, uh, helping out our cities. 
while also building up our armies because we're preparing ourselves for the war, eventual war against um, France. So we really need to prepare ourselves at the maximum. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.